Hello BTCB candidates, this is Zita Schmidt with another tutorial from PTCB Math Review. We will be covering basic algebra tutorial number one. You do algebra in your head without knowing it. Here you will recognize that you know this already, when to use it, and how to apply it to pharmacy math calculations. So let's say that you are going to make rice. The recipe tells you that for every cup of rice, you add one and a half cups of water. You are having friends over and you need to make three cups of rice. But how much water do you need for three cups of rice? I bet you know this already. If you said you will need three times 1.5 equals 4.5 or four and a half cups of water, you are right. Without even knowing it, you knew what to do. This is what you did in your head. Algebraically, you set up the following equation. One cup of rice per one and a half cups of water is equal to three cups of rice for X amount of cups of water. Then you proceeded to solve for X by cross multiplying. So one cup of rice times x cups of water is equal to 1x, and you write that on the bottom where I have it already. Then 1.5 cups of water times 3 cups of rice is equal to 1.5 times 3. Then you isolated the x by dividing both sides by 1. So we know that dividing by 1 is really pointless, but just so that you know what's going on. So 1 divided by 1 is 1, so that's just x equals 1.5 times 3 divided by 1, it's the same thing. Then you solve the math and got your answer. So x is equal to 4.5 cups of water. See what I mean when I say you already know this? So when to use it? You will use algebra to solve for unknowns when they have given you three values and you are looking for a fourth value. This is what an algebra is called ratio proportion. A over B is equal to C over D. You don't want to see that, do you? <laughs> and to solve an equation like this one, you use the cross multiply method. The key is to recognize the relationship that A has to B as C has to D. Let's say you are traveling in Mexico and you need to buy sugar. When you go to ask for it, you realize that they only sell it by kilos. You knew that you needed to buy five pounds, but now you are not so sure of how many kilos to get. You do remember that one kilogram is equal to 2.2. So the information you have is you want to buy five pounds and one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. You probably know approximately how many kilos to get, but for the sake of remembering, let's solve using ratio proportion. Step one, set up the equation by writing the ratio you already know and placing the third value on the other side of the equation and X is the unknown. So one kilogram over 2.2 pounds is equal to X kilograms over five pounds. Notice that once you set up the first ratio, you must place the units on the same side, top or bottom. So for example, you have kilograms on top and on the bottoms, you keep the pounds. Step two, cross multiply. So you have 2.2 times X is equal to one times five. Step three, divide both sides by 2.2 and solve the equation. We're dividing by 2.2 so that we can isolate the x. So 2.2 divided by 2.2 equals 1. 1 times x is just x. And then 1 times 5 is 5 divided by 2.2. So x is equal to 2.2727 kilograms. In this case, you can buy 2 and a quarter kilograms of sugar or maybe buy two and a half kilograms of sugar or you can just buy three kilograms and you don't have to go back again and enjoy your vacation. How to apply it to pharmacy math. 
Let's look at a pharmacy order. The doctor ordered 120 ml of prednisone, 2 mg per 1 ml. At the moment, you only have prednisone 5 mg tablets in stock and cherry syrup. You want to make it for the patient, and to do this, you need to calculate how many tablets you need in order to grind them and then mix them with the cherry syrup. Step 1. What information were you given? You need to make 120 ml. The strength, which is a ratio, is 2 mg per 1 ml, and you have in stock 5 mg tablets. What are you looking for? Well, we need to know how many tablets we need in order to make the compound. Step 2. Since one of the values given is a ratio, you need to solve it by using ratio proportion. Set up the ratio equation. You have 2 mg over 1 ml equals, and because you put the milligrams on top, you want to put the x milligrams on top also, and then you have it over 120 ml. Step 3. Cross multiply. 1 times x is equal to 2 times 120. This one's easy. All you have to do is x is equal to 240 milligrams. Step 4. Did we answer the question? No, because we are looking for how many 5 milligram prednisone tablets we need to put in 120 ml of cherry syrup. What does the 240 milligram mean? It means you need 240 milligrams of prednisone in 120 ml of cherry syrup to make the strength of 2 milligrams per 1 ml. So if you had to weigh it, let's say you had to weigh prednisone out, you would weigh 240 milligrams and then put that in 120 ml of cherry syrup. Step 4 continued. So how can we figure out how many 5 milligram tablets we need to make this compound? We know we need a total of 240 milligrams of prednisone. And we also know that we have 5 milligram tablets in stock. Hmm. You need to set up another ratio, or you can do it in your head. Step 5. Let's set up another ratio, with one tablet per 5 milligrams being one of the ratios. So one tablet has 5 milligrams, so one tablet over 5 milligrams is equal to x amount of tablets over 240 milligrams. So we want to know how many tablets you can find in 240 milligrams. Step 6. Cross multiply. So you have 5 times x is equal to 1 times 240, which would be 5x is equal to 240. Step 7. Divide both sides by 5. So 5x divided by 5 is equal to x, and then 240 divided by 5 is equal to 48 tablets. So you have that you need 48 tablets of the 5 milligram tablet prednisone. So there you have it, my friends. Uh, that concludes the part one of basic algebra. There's another video coming on algebra. If you have any questions or you have a special request, email me at ptcb underscore tutor at yahoo.com or send me a private message through my YouTube channel. Don't forget to rate my video and give a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.